The question of whether people are inherently good or bad has been debated for centuries by philosophers, scientists, and cultures around the world. There is no simple answer because human behavior is shaped by a mix of biology, environment, and experience. From a biological perspective, humans are born with tendencies rather than fixed moral traits. Babies show early signs of empathy, such as reacting to others' distress or preferring helpful behavior over harmful behavior. This suggests that humans may have an innate capacity for kindness and cooperation. I, evolution supports this idea as cooperation helped early humans survive in groups. At the same time, humans are also capable of aggression, selfishness, and cruelty. These traits also have evolutionary roots. Competition for resources, fear, and survival instincts can lead to harmful behavior. This doesn't mean people are born bad, but rather that they have the potential for both cooperation and conflict. Environment plays a crucial role in shaping which tendencies become dominant. Family upbringing, culture, trauma, education, and social norms strongly influence behavior. A supportive environment can encourage empathy and fairness, while neglect or violence can increase antisocial behavior. People often adapt their behavior to what they learn is necessary to survive or belong. Psychology suggests that morality is not fixed. People can behave kindly in one situation and selfishly in another. Context, stress, power, and fear can all override moral intentions. This flexibility shows that human nature is complex, not strictly good or bad. In conclusion, people are not inherently good or inherently bad. They are inherently capable. Humans possess the ability for compassion and cruelty, generosity, and harm. Which side emerges depends on biology, environment, and choice. Understanding this complexity helps us focus less on labeling people and more on creating conditions that encourage the best in human behavior.